Cinema. Hmm. Where are we? Are we going to the supermarket? No, we aren't going to the supermarket. It's a supermarket. What's that, Pod? That's a zoo. <laughs> that's a park, and that's a beach. Let's go. Beach, beach, beach. 
Today, we're going to talk about countries and nationalities. So here we start with countries. Today, we're going to be talking about a couple different countries, and we are going to represent these countries with their flag. So first, we have Canada. The first country we have here is Canada, represented by a red flag with a maple leaf. This is Canada. Next, we have Brazil. This is Brazil, a country from South America. Next, we have Japan. Here is Japan. Next, we have a country from Europe. And this country is Italy. And again, this is Italy. Next, we have France. This is another country in Europe. That is France. Next, we have the country of Russia. Russia. Russia extends from both Europe to Asia, as Japan is in Asia. So here we have six countries represented by their flag. The first is Canada. Next is Brazil followed by Japan. Then we have Italy, France, and Russia. We have a couple more countries to go. And here we have United States of America. This is the United States of America. Next, we have United Kingdom. So this is the United Kingdom. Here we have Germany. This is Germany. Next we have China. This is China. Here we have Australia. This is Australia. Next, this is Turkey. This country is Turkey. Here are six different countries, represented again by their flags. United States of America, United Kingdom, Germany, China, Australia, and Turkey. And these are another six more countries. Next, let's talk about nationalities. So, people who come from a country will have a certain nationality. As here, people who come from United States of America are known as an American. So, somebody who comes from the United States of America will be called an American. Here we have Canada. So a person from Canada will be known as a Canadian. And that is Canadian. Here we have the country of Brazil. So if someone who comes from Brazil, they will be called a Brazilian. Next, again, that's Brazilian. Next, we have Japan. And someone who's from Japan will be, called, be known as a Japanese. So their nationality is Japanese. Next, we have Italy. So someone who's from Italy will be known as an Italian. And again, that's Italian. 
Here are a couple more nationalities. Here we have France. And someone who comes from France will have a nationality of French. They are French. Next, someone from Russia will be known as a Russian. Russian. Okay? Here, someone from the United Kingdom will be known as a British. British. And here we have Germany. So someone who comes from Germany will be called a German. They are German. Here we have China. So someone who is from China, they are Chinese. And again, that's Chinese. Here we have Australia. So someone who's from Australia will be known as an Australian. They will be an Australian. Here we have Turkey. So someone who comes from Turkey is Turkish. They are Turkish. And so that is countries and nationalities. And that's all for today. This is BLT Ego brought to you by BLTNetwork.com. I'm your host and English coach, David Hilton. Hey, whose dirty coffee cup is this on my desk? Yours. What? Yours. Oh, it's mine? Yeah. I guess I left it here after my last show. Whoops. Anyway, today's topic is about possessive pronouns like mine, yours, his, hers, ours, and theirs. When someone asks, whose coffee cup is this, you might say, it's my coffee cup, or you could simply say, it's mine. Mine equals my coffee cup. Okay, now you make some short sentences using possessive pronouns. It's his coffee cup. It's his. It's her coffee cup. It's hers. It's your coffee cup. It's yours. It's our coffee cup. It's ours. It's their coffee cup. It's theirs. Okay, here's a hard question. Whose favorite English program is this? And your answer is... It's mine! Good job! Thanks for joining BLT Eagle right here on BLTNetwork.com. See you next time. Bye! Dialogue 9. What sports can you play? I can play tennis, basketball, football, and volleyball. What about you? What sports can you play? I can play baseball, badminton, and football. Can you swim? Of course. Can you? <laughs> no. But my brother can, and he will teach me. Possessive adjectives. Possessive pronouns. It is my bag. It's my bag. It is your watch. It's your watch. It is his book. It's his book. It is her car. It's her car. It is our camera. It's our camera. It is their house. It's their house. It is John's handphone. It's John's handphone. It is Mary's hat. It's Mary's hat. Whose bag is it? It's mine. It's yours. It's his. It's hers. It's John's. 
It's Mary's. It's ours. It's yours. It's theirs. Is it your bag? Yes, it's mine. Is it his watch? No, it's yours. Is it John's handphone? Yes, it's his. Is it my hat? No, it's hers. Is it your camera? Yes, it's ours. Is it our book? No, it's his. Is it John and Mary's house? Yes, it's theirs. Whose? Whose bag is that? It's mine. Whose book is this? It's his. Whose car is that? It's hers. Whose hat is this? It's Mary's. Whose clothes are those? They're John's. Whose shoes are these? They're yours. Whose pens are these? They're ours. Whose clothes are those? They're yours. Alligator. This is an alligator. A baby alligator is called a hatchling. Alligators live in marshes, rivers, and swamps. Gorilla. This is a gorilla. A baby gorilla is called an infant. Gorillas are found in jungles and mountains. Hippopotamus. Here is a hippopotamus. A young hippopotamus is called a calf. They live near rivers and lakes. Elephant. Here is an elephant. A baby elephant is called a calf. They are found in swamps and forests. Fox. This is a fox. A young fox is called a kit. They are mainly found in forests. Giraffe. Here is a giraffe. A baby giraffe is called a calf. Giraffes are mainly found in open grasslands and woodlands. Tiger. This is a tiger. A baby tiger is called a cub. Tigers live in the jungle, and their home is called a den. Rhinoceros. Here is a rhinoceros. A baby rhinoceros is called a calf. They are mainly found in grasslands, dry forests, and plains. Penguin. This is a penguin. A baby penguin is called a chick. Penguins live in oceans, seas, and cold areas. Panda. This is a panda. A baby panda is called a cub. Pandas are mainly found in the cold forests of China.
koala. Here is a koala. A baby koala is called a joey. Koalas are mainly found in the eucalyptus forests of Australia. Monkey. This is a monkey. A baby monkey is called an infant. Monkeys live on trees in forests. Lion. Here is a lion. A baby lion is called a cub. Lions live in the jungle, and their home is called a den. Kangaroo. This is a kangaroo. A baby kangaroo is called a joey. Kangaroos are mainly found in the grasslands of Australia. Zebra. Here is a zebra. A baby zebra is called a colt. Zebras are found in grasslands, woodlands, mountains, and hills. Deer. This is a deer. A baby deer is called a fawn. Deers live in the forest. Cheetah. This is a cheetah. A baby cheetah is called a cub. Cheetahs live in the jungle. Bear. This is a bear. A baby bear is called a cub. Bears live in jungles, and their home is called a cave. Adjectives two by Elf Learning. Here we go. Fast, fast, slow, slow, full, full, empty, empty, long, long, short. Short, wet, wet, dry, dry, big, big, small, small, clean, clean, dirty, dirty. Good job. Let's try that one more time. No repeat. Here we go. Fast, slow, full, empty, long, short, wet, dry, big, small, clean, dirty. Good job, everyone! Thank you very much for watching. Thank you. Hello. Today we are going to talk about prepositions: in, on. Under, behind, in front of, next to. Look, listen, and learn. Box. Dog.
table. Where is the dog? In the box. Where is the dog? On the table. Where is the dog? Under the table. Where is the dog? Next to the table. Where is the dog? In front of the table. Where is the dog? It's behind the table. And this lesson was brought to you by KidsCool.com. Where's the monkey? Where is it? Where is it? In the box. In the box. Where's the bird? Where is it? Where is it? On the tree. On the tree. Where's the snake? Where is it? Where is it? Under the rock. Under the rock. On. In. And under. Yeah. Where's the apple? Where is it? Where is it? In the box. In the box. Where's the carrot? Where is it? Where is it? On the chair. On the chair. Where's the pumpkin? Where is it? Where is it? Under the bench. Under the bench. On. In. And under. Great. Where's the book? Where is it? Where is it? On the desk. On the desk. Where's the pencil? Where is it? Where is it? In the box. In the box. Where's the ruler? Where is it? Where is it? Under the chair. Under the chair. On. In. And under. See you next time.
Dialogue 7. Hello, where do you live? I live in London. Where do you live? I live in Birmingham. Do you like it? Yes, it's all right. Do you like London? Yes, but I don't like the weather. Where do your parents live? They live in Oxford. Oh, I used to live in Oxford. I like it very much. Yes, I used to live there too. It's very beautiful. Where are you from? I'm from New York. You're from France. He's from Italy. She's from England. We're from India. They're from Japan. Where are you from? I'm from New York. Where is he from? He's from Italy. Where are they from? They're from Japan. Where's Helen from? She's from England. Are you from England? No, I'm from Spain. Is she from America? Yes, she is. Are they from China? No, they're from Japan. Are you from India? Yes, we are. Big and small, tall and short, fat and thin. Hey, Starry. Welcome to the circus. Wow! What a big tent! And can you imagine, Starry? It is held down by these small nails. Big tent, small nails. Here we are inside the big tent. Just in time to see the clowns. Starry, have you noticed all the clowns look different? This clown in red is a big clown, while the clown in blue is a small clown. Aren't they funny, Starry? The big clown is wearing big shoes and the small clown is wearing small shoes. Big clown, small clown. Big shoes, small shoes. Now look at these two clowns holding hands. The one in green is a tall clown. While the one in yellow is a short clown. Tall clown and short clown. Oh, and these two clowns in spotted clothes are the most colorful of all. The fat clown is smiling. But why is the thin clown looking so sad? Because he is so thin. Fat clown, thin clown. Now let's do an activity together. Here are two pictures with a word below. You have to click on the correct picture that describes the word. Shall we begin? The first word is big. Now here is a big dog and 
a small dog. So we click on the big dog. Correct. Here are two umbrellas. Small. We have to click on the small umbrella. Right again. Now, two flowers. Big flower. Correct. Next fish. Small fish. Excellent. You have learnt to compare big and small things. And now, let us spot the difference between tall and short by putting an X on the tall and a tick on the short. Tall tree, short tree. Tall giraffe, short giraffe. Tall lamp post, short lamp post. That was fast, Tari. And now, one last activity to find out the difference between fat and thin. The moment you click on the right description, the picture will get colored. Shall we begin? Here are two policemen. You have to find the thin policeman. Right! Thin policeman. Now, fat monkey. Right again. Finally, two rats. A fat rat and a thin rat. Fat rat. Excellent study. Wasn't it fun being able to compare big and small, tall and short, and fat and thin? I'm sure it was. Fatter than the boy in the green t-shirt is fatter than the boy in the orange t-shirt. Longer than the blue line is longer than the black line. Taller then, the boy in the red t-shirt is taller than the boy in the blue t-shirt. Faster than, the rabbit is faster than the tortoise. Wider than. The black rectangle is wider than the yellow rectangle. A red bike, a blue bike, a green bike. Compare, comparative. Bigger than, smaller than, faster than. The red bike is bigger than the blue bike. The green bike is faster than the red bike. 
the blue bike is smaller than the green bike. places. Town Hall, City Hall, Bank, Church, Police Station Hospital Playground Park Courthouse Post Office Fire Station School Supermarket Sports Arena Hotel Motel Library Cinema Movie Theater Garage Barber Shop Restaurant Green grocers.
Bakery Gas Station Radio Station Pharmacy Bus Station Butcher Shop Airport Train Station Railroad Station Clothing Store Police Station Bank Pharmacy Bus Station Post Office Bakery Ship Tram Restaurant Barber shop Motel Green grocers. Supermarket.
fire station. Foot Cinema Sports Arena School Courthouse Town Hall Playground Hospital Park Butcher Shop Radio Station Airport Dialogue 12. How's the weather today? It's a little rainy. Is it cold? No, it's cool, but not cold. What was the weather like yesterday? It was sunny and pleasant. What will the weather be like tomorrow? It will be rainy. Want. I want an apple. You want some medicine. They want some money. He wants a pencil. She wants some pencils. He wants a car. Do you want an apple? Yes, I do. Does she want some apples? No, she doesn't. Do you want a car? Yes, we do. Do they want some cars? No, they don't. I want to eat. You want to play. We want to study. They want to stay home. He wants to swim. She wants to run. Do you want to play? No, I don't. Do you want to study? Yes, we do. Do they want to go out? No, they don't. Does she want to sleep? No, she doesn't.
Does he want to swim? Yes, he does. Dialogue four. What did you do today, John? I went to the library and I read some books. What did you read? I read about dinosaurs. Did you eat lunch? Yes, I did. What did you eat? I ate pizza. Was it good? Yes, it was. Future tense. Going to. I am going to go home tomorrow. I am going home tomorrow. You are going to go to school next week. You are going to school next week. He is going to go to the store tonight. He is going to the store tonight. She is going to go to work tomorrow. She is going to work tomorrow. John is going to go to the park this afternoon. John is going to the park this afternoon. Mary is going to go to the mall this evening. Mary is going to the mall this evening. We are going to go to Paris next month. We are going to Paris next month. You are going to go to New York next Monday. You are going to New York next Monday. They are going to go to the restaurant on Saturday. They are going to the restaurant on Saturday. What are you going to do next week? I'm going to school. What are you going to do next month? We're going to Paris. What are you going to do next Monday? I'm going to New York. What are they going to do Saturday? They're going to the restaurant. What is he going to do tonight? He's going to the store. What is she going to do tomorrow? She's going to work. What is John going to do this evening? He's going to the park. What is Mary going to do this morning? She's going to the mall. When are you going to swim? I'm going to swim this afternoon. When are you going to go? We're going to go this evening. When are they going to work? They're going to work Tuesday evening. When is he going to play tennis? He's going to play tennis tonight. When is she going to sing? She's going to sing Saturday. When is John going home? John's going home next month. When is Mary going to come? Mary's going to come next year. Are you going to eat? Yes, I am. Is he going to swim? No, he isn't. Is she going to come? Yes, she is. Is John going to sing? No, he isn't. Is Mary going to play tennis? Yes, she is. Are you going to work? No, we aren't. Dialogue two. What did you do last night? I played football with my friends. Was it fun? It was very fun. And what did you do? I cooked dinner for my family. What did you cook? I cooked pasta and soup. Past tense, irregular. I ran home. You swam at home. He slept at the hotel. She drank at the pub. 
We ate at the restaurant. You bought food at the store. They sang at the church. Did you swim at the park? No, I didn't. I swam at home. Did he sleep at the hotel? Yes, he did. Did she drink at the restaurant? No, she didn't. She drank at the pub. Did you eat at the restaurant? Yes, we did. Did you buy food at the mall? No, we didn't. We bought food at the store. Did they sing at the church? Yes, they did. Did he drive home? No, he didn't. He walked. Did you eat breakfast? Yes, I did. Where did you swim yesterday? I swam at the park. Where did he sleep? He slept at the hotel. Where did she drink? She drank at the pub. Where did you eat? We ate at the restaurant. Where did you buy food? We bought food at the store. Where did they sing? They sang at the church. Where did you go this morning? I went to the market. When did you buy a car? I bought a car yesterday. When did you sell your car? I sold my car last week. When did they come? They came last week. When did he eat? He ate at one o'clock. What did you buy at the market? I bought some chicken and vegetables. What did they do yesterday? They went to the beach. What did she study? She studied biology. What did he say? He said no.